My name is Stephen Erlanger. I'm with the New York Times. I would also like to thank Thierry and congratulate him on this 10th anniversary. Though this feels a bit like a wedding cake, but, but we don't have to think about it. Um, this is, to me, as a career journalist, a very important panel. We're here to talk about truth and trust in the digital age. Now, it seems to me truth and trust are questions in any age. They were questions in the medieval period, too. But now we're all so interconnected. We're all so subject to our phones. In a way, we're prisoners of our phones. Um, and our phones tell a great deal about us. One of the things that the internet has clearly done is it's made an enormous amount of knowledge available to everyone and in many different languages. But as Henry Kissinger once said, knowledge is not wisdom. They're two very different things. One can know many, many things, but not understand much at all. And this is the great fear. So I think what we have is a very varied panel with a lot of expertise and a lot of humanity. I'm not going to introduce everyone because you all have your packs and you can look people up yourselves. Um, and we're going to go right to it. I'm also going to try to leave 20 minutes at the end for questions. And we're going to try to be done by 6 o'clock just to kind of rewind some time and get back on schedule. So um, I appreciate your attention. Um, and first speaker we have, quite extraordinarily, is the chief rabbi of France, Chaim Corsia. <laughs> 